So today is going to be the Ted Baker Avant Canada unboxing. This is this year's the 2023 Ted Baker Avant Canada. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. This is a £46 so it's went up a pound since last year and from the images it looks very similar to previous years but I feel like that's very common with the Ted Baker Avant Candas but I thought I could compare them and see I've got some of the bits from last year's Ted Baker Avant Canada and we're going to unbox it in anyways so here is the calendar here it is a lovely may I add black designed box with lots of floral on very beautiful very stunning i'm very excited about this having come out and see what it has in inside it and um, yeah this is definitely a box you could use to keep trinkets in and things like that very nice and um, i've actually kept my last two previous ted baker having because i don't really like them and when you open it up inside it is very plain this is what it looks like. It's a 24 day avant This avant canna works out at about £1.91 or £1.90 a day. So very budget friendly in any ways. Um, yeah, I've got it kind of perched up so we can kind of see it unboxed. Because it's an awkward one. This bit doesn't come all the way. So it's kind of like I have to have it like this. It's a little bit more awkward to unbox. Um, yeah, but we want day number one in any ways. And day number one is here. If I can get out, I haven't got my nails to help me. Oh, and we've got stuff falling on us already. But day number one is the Violet and Bergamot Body Souffle. We definitely got this. We definitely got this in previous years. Day number two is, yeah, you can't really see it, um, yeah, but we're going to get it in anyway. So it's really skinny, so I think maybe a nail file or something like that. It's the Violet and Bergamot Moisturising Eye, eye Mask. We've definitely had this in previous years. So we want day number three, which is this one here. Let's have a look. I love that it's a box design I've encountered, but the last true previous years have been as well. We have got the Rose and Cassis Body Souffle, which is like a body butter. I love the smell of the Rose and Cassis. And I don't think we got this one in previous years either. In previous years. Day number four, which is here, it's just out of view. We have got we have got the Brilliant Orange Blossom Body Wash. This is a really nice scent. I really quite like that raspberry orange scent. So yeah, I'm quite excited about that one. I was day number four. We want day number five, which is down here, but you just can't see it. It feels heavyish. We have got a Ted Baker eyeshadow quad. This is what it looks like here. And I've got last year's as well. So this is what this year's eyeshadow quad 100 looks like. 100% honest, I feel like it looks exactly the same. So this year, this is this year's and this is last year's. I feel like they look exactly the same. So if you have had previous years, if so if you have had previous years, um, that is a bit of a bummer. But then if you haven't had previous years and you've always wanted to get one, you know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. We'll swatch last year's for anyone who hasn't had previous years. Because I'm not going to swatch that one because it is, the, it, in my opinion, it's the same eyeshadow palette. And I don't need two of the same palette. But that is last year's. I feel like that is very similar to this year's, if not the same to be honest looking at it so that was day number five we want day number six which is over in this far corner as well we have got oh what have we got we have got a mascara so i don't think we've ever had a mascara i have had ted baker mascaras before but i've never had them in the advent calendar and i've had them in the gift set definitely haven't had this mascara before um and this is what it looks like so yeah that's exciting the packaging's really nice as well um yeah nice to get a mascara 
that was day number six. Day number seven, which is here. We have got the Raspberry and Orange Blossom Body Lotion. This is good to take away with you and I don't really like that scent. That was number seven. We want day number eight which is along here and it's a little long thin one like this. We have got a Raspberry and Orange Blossom Moisturising Sheet Mask. I've definitely had this before but I don't know if it was in a previous advent calendar. But I've definitely had this before and I did quite like it. It was full of serum. Um, yeah, but I don't know if that was in a gift set because I do get a lot of Ted Baker gift set. Or if that was in that advent calendar. That was day number 8. So we want day number 9 which is a big one in the middle Yeah. I'm guessing maybe a candle of some sort feels maybe like it could be. No, it's not. I don't think we've had this before. So, day number nine. I don't think we've had this. This is soap. I've had these and they are really quite nice, quite a chunky. So, this is in the Violet Bergerman scent. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I got like this chunky soap. Well, we might have got this in last year's, but I don't think we did. But I did get this as a Christmas present last year and it was really nice. Like, I know a lot of people don't really like to use like proper like chunk, like soap like that. But once in a blue moon, I do like to use like a proper soap. I like to just like rub it onto my loofah and froth it up on my loofah and it's just really nice. So that was day number nine. We want day number ten which is over here. So I decided to sit it on my knee because my top's driving me nuts and because I'm sitting like this, my top's like deep and open and everything like that and I'm like, it's like driving me nuts. So I put it in front of me. Um, so day number 10 is a Violet and Bergamot spray. I just really like this scent. I really do like this scent. Actually, I like all Ted Baker scents, I'm not gonna lie, so well. I like the majority of Ted Baker scents. So that was day number 10. We want day number 11, which is here. Up to now, it's like we're halfway through the month and we haven't gotten any of the things that make me excited, in my opinion. Like the candles, the things that are like little collector things, like what you get. We haven't had any of them. Them are the things that get me excited, like the little coin purses we've had, things like that. The little scrubbers with the labels on. Oh, right. But anyways, I'm on, on a tangent. We are day number 11. So here's day number 11. And we have got the Violet and Bergamot hand cream. I can't really use Ted Baker hand cream so the scent, I've got very sensitive hands if you don't know. And the scent, it's like scented hand creams kind of set my hands off. Not just Ted Baker, it's just in general. The only ones are like a scent that don't set my hands off is Locketane and Body Shop. Um, so that was day number 11. We want day number 12. Hopefully we're going to get something that is actually like, you know, like a little collector thing. If you get what I mean. Right, day number 12 is a little and skinny, so I'm guessing maybe tweezers. Let's have a look. No, it's not. It's a lip gloss. Now, I'm not going to open this because this looks exactly like the lip gloss that we've had in previous years, where it's quite a pigmented lip gloss. It was too pigmented for me. I would have swatched it and compared it in mine if I still had it, but it was too pigmented for me, so I passed it along. But yeah, that looks very similar to that. So that was 12. We want day number 13. 13 which is this one here right we have got some eyelash curlers they're in the gold tone which was last year's color the year before was in the rose gold tone i have got last year's sitting here and they look pretty much the same color so yeah you know this is this year's and this is last year's. So I would say this year's is a bit more shiny, but that could be because they're brand new, whereas mine have been used, you know. The push feels quite the same as well. So yeah, this is the type of items I like, like things that will last a long time with the logo on. So I do like that day. And if I, this was my first ever Ted Baker garden camera, I'd be buzzing with that, you know, but obviously I've had 
previous years and I get the gift sets and stuff like that. So that is day number 13. We want day number 14, which is in a square box. This feels quite weighty. Oh, I don't think we've ever had this. We have got the Rose and Cassis bath salt. Now that is something I'm excited about. Oh, they smell beautiful. Really nice. Okay, that's my favourite day so far. I really like them. I'm very excited about them. Like, very excited. Oh, I really hope we get the dry shampoo this year. I love the dry shampoo. It's the best. My favourite dry shampoo. I get so many of you to, like, send me the dry shampoo if you didn't want it. I just love it. Right, that was day number 14. We want day number 15. It's in a long, skinny one like this. We have got the brush. The brush looks the same i feel like i've got this brush it's a nice brush really nice i think maybe this is a bit more squared whereas the one from previous years is a bit more rounded but that could be the way it's sat in the box but yeah we've got a brush it's got the logo on this is something that will last you basically like a lifetime that's a good day to me i like that day we want day number 16 which is this one here and we have got Right, now I'm getting made a day of jar views at fives because I did quickly whiz through last year's and this is a nail polish. Now, I definitely know they put a red nail polish in last year's and I feel like this is the same nail polish. Um, really love the packaging, think this looks beautiful and if I hadn't had last year's and it wasn't like in last year's, like basically the same thing, I would have been buzzing. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about that because it's so similar to last year's. So that was 16, and I'd rather have the dry shampoo or something like that than that nail polish. In my opinion, I always have false nails on. I, I, when I'm saying this, I don't, but I normally do. So 16, we want day number 17. We have got the tweezers, and oh my God, the packaging of the tweezers this year is stunning. I love the tweezers this year, I'm gonna say. I really do like oh and they feel good because last year I've got them sitting here you know do a comparison mind you this could be the hubby using mine Um, they don't grip very well but these have a good little grip seize to them but you've got to, it's a, you've got to try them before you can judge them I'm buzzing with that day number 17 good day and that's something that'll last you for years and it's got the logo, it's got the name on, the things that we like. People who watch my videos like them sort of things, they, and I, they know that's what I like too, you know? Right, 17. We want day number 18. Feels quite heavy. We have got the Rose and Cassis body spray. I love these sprays. I use these sprays pretty much. Um, majority all the time I've got a little cat trying to get in so yeah I really love the body mist I use these all the time so this is like a stock up of my body mist you know so yeah I'm very happy with that if you hear any rustling or anything like that the cheeky kitten has come in so we've got day number we want day number 19 which is here she's looking at my lights and um, feels quite weighty Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, I love this day. This is the Ted Baker Cuticle Oil. Cuticle Oil is something I use a lot of, so I'm quite happy with that. I feel like that's a good day in my opinion. But you do get the cuticle oil, I think, every year. So that was day 19. We went to day number 20. We have got... Let's have a look. We have got a lipstick, and it is looking very similar to last year's let's have a look this is the tubes i don't know if it's just me or does one tube look less gold than the other so it's like they have definitely like they're new like it's a newer tube but that could just be because one's been used for a year i honestly don't know but i'm not going to swatch this because i feel like it's the same shade yeah and i i feel like the year before was the same shade but was definitely different packaging because it was in rose gold <laughs> actually this looks slightly more pink but i honestly just don't feel like i need another one but i swatched last year's just in case you haven't had this year's 
and it's a really nice like honestly it is a really nice lipstick so yeah it's the same in my opinion as last year's but overall like say if i hadn't bought this like previous years avant Canada, i would have been really happy with that so that was day number 20 we want day number 21 it's a little bit taller i think this is the tallest box we've got we have got okay now we've never had this i don't know what it is it doesn't have anything on the box i feel like this is a body brush i love this I really like this because I get a lot of, I don't know if you can see, and I feel like this is the perfect size because I use a body brush every, or every time before I go in the bath, I use a body brush. I feel like this is the perfect size. See, like, if I'm really being lazy and I don't want to dig out my big brush, just go like that. Yeah, I love that. I'm really chuffed with that day. Feels nice. It's got a little bit of a dink there, but I don't mind that. And, yeah, really happy with that. That's definitely a new product. I think, like, that's our first new product apart from the tweezers so that's 21 we want day number 22 day number 22 let's have a look we have got the nail file oh it's beautiful we get this nail file pretty much every year i love this year's effect design it feels the same and i really like these i feel like they're really good on your natural nails i feel like i blunt mine i feel like i blunt mine so quick because i use them on my false nails because i just normally keep one of these in my handbag but i do really like the nail fight and that's really pretty i love this year's design of like the tweezer and the nail fight i think that's really pretty so that's 22 we want 23 is this one here we have got a like cleansing cloth type thing we got like a white and pink piping in previous years i think or was that a year before i don't know but that this is definitely we haven't had this so this is really nice i really like these type products i use these type products all the time i feel like my nails look awful <laughs> do look at my fingers <laughs> um yeah I really like that. It feels very soft and I love the shade of pink. It's like a dark pink. Really like the shade of pink of that. I love the shade of pink of that shade of pink. Very nice. Very happy with day 23. And then we're on the last day. So we're on the last day. Let's see what we get in the last day. So we got the Violet and Bergamon Body Wash bigger size 200 mil right okay in my opinion i feel like this ted baker advent calendar wasn't as good as previous years we didn't get a fragrance we normally get a perfume i've got things laid out we normally get a candle of some sort we have for the last previous years or dry shampoo we didn't get that in last year's though um and we normally get like this like headband thing we got the new products that they give us this year in the advent calendar was we got a new the mascara was a new product we got the cleansing square cloth um i'm just looking i've got the thing up on yeah and then that body brush which i really do like by the way but then previous like i feel like them are the only products that are new and I feel like we kind of got dubbed. Is that the right word? Um, I'd rather have had one less shower gel and got a candle, in my opinion. And I love Ted Baker shower gels. I just feel like it wasn't as good, in my opinion, as previous years. I really like these type of things that you get that give you a bit of then aiming i feel like a lot of people who buy the ted baker avon candles and ted baker gift sets and things like that can't actually afford well not generally but majority or maybe like it's not in their budget to go to the actual ted baker shops or on the website and go on their website and purchase the bags and things like that and this the advent candles and gift sets are your kind of way of getting a little bit of their luxury ish feeling for less in my opinion um overall though i do feel like it's an okay calendar but i definitely wouldn't be like it would never be in my ones that i would recommend like i normally do a video at the end of our like in november of 
advent calendars that I think you should buy as gifts and this wouldn't be one this year in my opinion I think it's a good calendar and if it's like if you like Ted Baker and you, you like the shower gels things like that it's definitely it's not it's definitely still worth the money but I feel like you're not getting as much for your money this year and especially if you've had previous years because there's a lot of repeats so yeah in my opinion I'm just like mm, which is gutting him because you guys know I love Ted Baker I'm gutted to say that but yeah it's just mm, and I feel like they really let themselves down this year with their advent calendar so like it's like a two and a half for me out of five stars i would give it a two and a half um yeah i'll link it down below if it's something you are wanting or if you haven't had previous years so you haven't already had that eyeshadow palette or the lipstick or the lip gloss um yeah then i will link it for you because it's still all right but it's just i feel like they let themselves down from previous years and whoever had done this I've encountered the need to hire the same person who done last year's and the year before was that. <laughs> Um, yeah, but this is the Ted Baker Avant Calendar unboxing. And anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots of Avant Calendar unboxings. There always is at this time of year and going up to unbox for you guys. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe down below. If you don't know, I do a lot of giveaways and things like that around Christmas time. So I would love it if you come and subscribe. See you all in my next one. Anyways, bye.